Does this lipstick brand live up to its claim to not seep into the fine lines around the lips? Hi everyone, Glory B from Glory B TV here, where we aim to look fabulous, feel amazing, and age gracefully. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the red subscribe button and click the little gray bell to be notified about each new weekly video. I was intrigued by the Color of the World lipstick companies claim that their lipsticks don't feather and don't creep into the fine lines, so I just had to check it out for myself. Now, as we mature, we get some fine lines around the lips, and I noticed this right after menopause. I mean, it was like right away. And a lot of lipsticks just creep during the day and go beyond the lips and get into these lines. And then um, using a lip pencil can help and all that kind of thing. But what if I just want to put a lipstick on and have it last a long time? So that's this company's claim. I initially contacted the Color World team because I wanted to know if their lipsticks had a scent or if they were unscented. And they replied back right away to say all of their lipsticks are unscented. Super. I ordered four colors in medium tones and I purposely stayed away from bright colors, dark colors, and beige colors. I just wanted something more medium. All of the four that I ordered go on creamy and opaque. Now some people have written comments on other videos about this brand saying that when they bought the lipsticks that they went on dry or they got dry or that they went on sheer. I didn't experience that with the four I bought. So for the four colors I chose, I chose two that lean toward being a peachy color and two that lean toward being pink. On the swatch of my arm, the two on the left are peach. Wildflower is on the far left and Huntress is next to it. The third and fourth on the right are more pink and the third is called Flawless and the one on the far right is pretty and pink. I'll demo them now on my lips, starting with Wildflower. Now I think this is the most peach of the four that I bought. This one is called Huntress. It is truly a combination of peach and pink together. I think it's the most versatile of all the ones that I bought. This color is called Flawless. It is truly a cool pink. I would even call it a mauve pink. This fourth and final color is called Pretty in Pink. It's more of a pinky rose color, and it's the only one of the four that has shimmer. Now I'm back to wearing Huntress, which is the color I was wearing when we started. Now I've worn each of these for hours, and I found that they don't feather at all, and they stay on for a pretty long time. You do have to reapply after eating food, though. Now the other thing I found is on some other videos, People have written comments saying they bought some colors that they ended up not liking because they didn't think the colors were true on the Color the World website. And the colors didn't look good on them. They're not going to wear them. And the company doesn't accept refunds. And that is true. Unless you receive something broken, they don't refund if you don't like the color. So that's why I stuck to these medium tones. And I love all four of the colors I bought. I think if you make a purchase and stick with medium tone colors, you're going to like whatever color you buy. They also donate to charity, and every lipstick is tied to a charity, and you can read about each one on their website. First time customers get $5 off their purchase by giving them the email address first, and you'll get a code that you can apply. If you're outside the U.S., I suggest contacting them to see if they ship to your country. I just love these lipsticks. Check out some of my other videos on anti-aging makeup ideas by clicking one of the images on the right side of your screen and I'll see you in the next video.